Hey, what's up, man? It's White Wallet on Radio. We're going to bring a, a guest on today to uh, speak about uh, Ohio prison and a bunch of other things. Dude has a channel. Uh, he's got a channel. I believe he's right around 1,000, or he may be uh, just a smidge over it, one or the two. But a uh, long time in the making on this one. So let's go ahead and bring him on. All right, man, White Boy Lockdown Radio. Hey, listen, we I've been trying to get with Grind and Shine Recovery, the channel here, for a long time. I've done an interview on his channel. So he's going to talk about uh, Ohio prison, um, some of the, the politics there. And uh, I'll give you the floor, brother. Uh, welcome, man. Uh, we've been trying to do this a long time, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's definitely been a uh, work in progress. I'm glad to get, actually get with you, man. Uh, yeah, I wanted to fill you in on kind of like how how the politics, I guess, of white white gangs go in, in Ohio. Um, believe it or not, like one of the guys I grew up with in the system uh, coming up, you know, through juvenile stuff and did a little bit of time with a good friend of mine. He goes by country. I don't really put any names out there because uh, yeah. he's, he's in right now. But uh, he had to basically – him and three other guys started off something called – CWBs. It stood for Cincinnati White Boys. Oh, and Cincinnati they, White Boys. I, I know and, that. And, and this is just a strictly Ohio thing from what I know of. Um, this started up in like 2004 and this was like, originally it started with three three white, you know, three honkies that stood together because they were they were tired of seeing where they were at. This is Noble, the camp that it started at. Now, it, it, this is through the whole state now. I mean, it's through, you know, it's in level threes, you know, it's it's actually spread throughout to where it's about as big as the ABs are in, in this state. So, really? yeah, yeah. And uh, it started off because he's seen the ABs only extorting the, you know, white guys coming in. They were not pressing anyone else. Um, and he just, you know, he felt there was something wrong about it. And I'm touching on this because uh, this dude, he, he's such a waste of talent. Um, I knew him on the streets. He owned his own business. Um, he was a, ma a ma brick mason. And uh, he was a really talented guy. And uh, he started this up, like I said, to stand against what, you know, what he felt was wrong. And um, it's grown into to, to a huge, huge thing now. And uh, he, he came back in the system years later to see what it grew into. And basically uh, – the same thing he started it to be against. It grew, it, it grew into the, it grew into basically a bunch of guys who were younger punks that were getting patches, and a lot of them were going out and only extorting their own kind. But um, when he went back in, he did clean it up. Um, and and like I said, most of the guys I know that all that all had you know the CWB patch, they all stood up and. Uh, you know, they stood together for something that was right. Uh, it, it really wasn't about extorting their own people or extorting anyone. Um, right. They just was were like three a, solid, they were three like solid a, guys who, who, you know, who stood against, you know, BS. Um, and yeah. it really did grow into a huge movement um, in, in the Ohio system. Uh, like I said, it's not – I've never patched in myself to, to any, any gang um, just because – what comes with it, uh, people don't understand. Um, yeah, I, yeah. I hear people joke about level twos and stuff, and like it, it's all a joke unless you're the guy who who ends up with getting hit with a lock and a sock, you know, or on a belt, on a state belt, you know. Um, Absolutely. That person, it's not a joke no more, you know. Um, and, and you know, I, I think some people take prison too lightly, just all around, you know, because. They get the wrong idea from hearing about a level two and what they hear on YouTube to what it really is, you know, to see to see that type of violence, you know. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's one reason I try to I try to show the good and bad that I've seen with the gangs. But um, like I said, when, when my when my buddy country went back, you know, uh, he did I think three or four years in, in, in 04, He went back in 2012 for a few more years and he's back in now but uh when he went back and seen what it became he he had to kind of clean house because um he started you know, 
Yeah, when I seen him, he seen what it became. You know, it was it started to become what he was against. You know, what he started to be against. So, so he started it. Him and three other guys. Uh, I don't know the other guys' nicknames, so I don't want to drop. It's you know, cool. You don't, you don't have to. If people are in the system, you know. I just yeah, don't want to put it it's, like it's it's understood. But he like he he see so he's a he's a stand up white dude. Um, and he didn't agree. Yeah, he's a very unsuspecting person for what people think when you think like a sh uh, OG or a shot caller. Um, this guy, he was a Golden Glove boxer. Um, it, he he was just, uh, you know, he, he, very unsuspecting. You know what I mean? He wasn't a very huge guy, but he did have hands, and he was a very stand-up guy. He was smart, too. You know, he was strategic. If he was going to – stand up against people who were going to have numbers on him or something. He was very strategic, you know? Um, yeah. You know, it's, 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 a, it's, it's just as much a mind game as it is, a, you know, it is, it is recruit, you know, uh, you know, there's numbers and all that, but uh, a lot of it is, you know, you got to be smart too, man, to be, to be yeah, uh, trying to move like that, especially in that environment, you know? For and, sure, uh, man. He had the brains, man, too, uh, to go with it. So in Florida, we got we have something called CWBs. I, I think it's you know in in the whole crazy state. white boys, crazy white yeah. boys. Do yeah, yeah. Have, do you have crazy white boys also in Florida? No, no, Ohio? I've never seen them. Like, like I'm going to tell you what the patch is, just because uh, it's a pretty slick patch. I've never uh, like it's basically the Cincinnati Reds C with uh, an AK. A, Basically, you got four AKs that make a W, and then you got this the Cincinnati Bengals B for the B. Okay. That's the patch, yeah. you know, uh, if you're fully patched in. Like, normally some people, like, if they're really tied in, they'll have, like, the Cincinnati C on them, and they'll have the, the B on them. But the dub is where you really got to put the work in to earn it, you know. Right. Um, and I that's where you get your AKs. He he must have really put on to go against AB. I'm in Florida. Bro, this guy, hey, his his initials are KC. I don't want to put too much. He is a legend, dude. This this guy, um, he, and he and it, it's a waste of talent because man, like I said, he he had a very successful masonry business at one time, um, uh, you know. But drugs did play a part in his downfall too, man. Like, and that's the sad thing of it, man. Is uh. You know as well as I do. You know how it is sometimes. Man. Yeah, I've done block work. That's that's tough work, man. Uh, it pays good. Um, it's crazy because, like, you're right. You know, um, I think a lot of people, the whole gang thing, man. Um, people will. It's almost like you're when you're younger, you're drawn to it, especially in a incarcerated setting. Um, yeah. you, you can get drawn and played easy, but when you get older or experience that you, you see it for what it is, man. Uh, I, yeah. I, I don't, I don't like any gangs, man. Uh, I think it's, um, I, I think people get used. Uh, I, I don't think it's half of what it, it, it is, but, um, it, once that's it gets so big, once it gets so big, it, it, it is, man. It's, uh, like you said, people get used, people get played, get extra time to their sentence behind nothing. Yeah. Um, uh, and, and the same, like I said, the same thing he started, I, I was in a, in, in a, you know, like a level one, um, and I was in like this drug program at one point, and I, I actually got into it with three guys, you know, they jumped me, but uh, I still ran it with them because these guys were, you know, they had the patch, one of them had the patch from the same, you know, same thing my, my boy that I grew up with kicked off, but, you know, he was, you know, one of the, you know, tag, you know what I mean? He was a, he was, he was basically after, you know how it is. Once, once they, a gang gets so big, you've got certain people who are in it who are just not really real. You know what I mean? Well, they, yeah, they have their own reasons and, and yeah, of course. Doing it more for protection. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh my. So, that must've been wild. That dude started something uh, going against a crazy, a crazy gang. And he goes back probably when he was going back through the system, he was probably happy to get where he's going because he knew he started something, and then he goes oh, back yeah. and I sees mean, that he, it's a bunch of bullshit crap, you know? Yeah, I mean, when he comes in, like, don't get me wrong, 
they all looked out, you know, they were all, cause I mean, this guy, like I said, he's almost like a legend at this point, you know, I mean, yeah. Um, they, there's these three, you know, these three guys who did stand together, you know, um, a lot of people know of them just because, you know, what they did start and uh, what it grew into, like I said, uh, it, 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 and, you know, most, I think, at least from what I see in most states, I think a lot of states have more of their hometown gangs. Like, yeah, um, another gang that's big in Ohio prison system is uh, Heartless Felons, which is like a Cleveland gang that started off in like the juvenile system, actually. Heartless Felons? What is that? Like, uh, is that they let white dudes get down? Um, there's white guys that, that get down in it. Um, it's more like an urban, you know, it's more, I guess, an African-American type thing, I'd say. Like, just, it's like a Cincinnati thing? Well, no, it's a Cleveland thing. Oh, Cleveland. Um, okay. All yeah, right. it's a Cleveland thing. So, like, you know, I remember, like, there was there was beef, you know, between a lot of the dubs and, and them. Um, just because, you know, Cleveland and Cincinnati already, you know, I don't know. For some reason, there's beats like that that just happen, you know? No, like, I, I get it. In Florida, it's like that, too. You have, you know, your big gangs, the ones everybody knows. I never heard of Heartless Felons, but I, I understand what you're saying. They're, they're, they have gangs that um, you have your home team, which is really not a gang. It's just like, you know, you're, you're repping for the county that you got sentenced out of. But then you have yeah. dudes that take that to another level and, uh, and, and really structure gangs off home teams just to go against the bigger gang. So I understand what you're saying, but I wanted to say something. You, you said something um, important. A lot of people think uh, with, with the prison channels, there's every state, I guess, has different level facilities, man. Um, you know, I've been in a lot of different level, for, you know, one to five and back. You know, prison yeah. is prison. Pri to me, prison is prison. I've been in bad yes. dorms and I've told stories, but then I've been in, I, I've gotten my custody down to where I can go to like work camps and stuff. And sometimes at the work camp, it would, as far as fighting goes, it was worse than, than, than the ratchet dorms. Uh, I think yeah. people un underestimate that. And I think a lot that has to do with is dudes that are in prison um, with, with time, they don't care if if they got five years to do in and they're at a level two or a level five, they still have five years to do. And there's still that prison like mindset, you know. So I, I, I think I have, but a lot of channels always say that. So I understand what you're saying, man. Uh to me, yeah. um it, it prison is prison. Um that's for sure. I, mean, I I've seen I I remember an old head almost. And we he, we stopped we had to stop him from stabbing somebody who sprayed him with a hose, playing around in a, in a level one, you know, and yeah. that's just like you said, you you know, to them he's a, he's still got a couple of years to do. I mean, uh, absolutely. I remember him. He, the, the same old head was my bunkie actually, and uh, he I remember him telling me he's like, well, man, he's like, it ain't even that nice out there, anyways. What do I got to go? You know what I mean, like. Yeah, because he was just that used to it, you know. I mean, yeah, for uh, sure. Uh, him, you know, he's gonna wake up and read the newspaper every morning, whether he's in there or not. And like, I don't how know. Much, it, how much time did he do? That your your bunkie, that that old guy. He did a decade. He did a decade. He, so, he, bro, he was borderline borderline just used to it, institutionalized, you know. Yeah, and he was older too. So, like, you know, he's he's almost sixty years old. You know, like. He didn't, you know, like I said, he didn't have a whole lot to go home to. Yeah, you know, other than his house and his car, you know, that his sister had kept for him. He, that's about it, you know, like, and yeah, he was already set in his ways, you know, and uh, that's the way it happens. People don't realize that is, I hate seeing young guys go in and, and within a few years, you know, they got their face tied up. They oh, don't yeah. realize what they're obligating themselves to. Uh, they have know, no idea. They're just scared and have no idea that there's what they're signing up for. And, and, yeah. uh, yep. I'm, I've seen that a million times, man. And, uh, you could honestly pull them to the side and, and try your best, like not to get in their business, but to try to help them. And, uh, they'll, they'll, for me, at least they just, they'll, they'll say that they know what they're doing or brush you off. And then it's always the same outcome. A year or six months later, they'll come back to you and say you were right, you know. But you, you, they're so hard-headed, 
um, when they're getting the face tats and all that shit. It's uh, it's yeah. crazy. It seems like yeah. Ohio is a little bit like Florida. Um, yeah, I mean, it's that's, that's the thing is uh, people don't realize, you know, um, state to state, a prison's prison, you know, and that's yeah. that's the main thing people got to realize. Like, um, there's no cushy state I'd say to do time in, really. Um, it's true, but yeah, it's just. Um, I think people get the wrong idea, like I said, with some of it, like you said, with the levels and all that. But, you know, that's why I'm glad you, you know, your channel, you, you know, you, you, I feel you do a good job educating people about what it really is. Yeah, I try. Um, yeah, that's it. It's shame is, is uh, I feel some of the people who glorify the gangs, it feels like that's almost promoted. You know what I mean? Like this day and age. It really, it really is, man. Uh, it really is on YouTube. Um, it, 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 you know, you do better if you promote it or if you're in a gang. Well, and you and I know there's only so much work you can put in in a three-year period. That's all I'm going to say. Um, yeah. You know what I mean? If you, if you go hitting somebody with a lock and a sock or go hit, you know, hitting them with, with a, a poker or whatever, it, you're going to be in the hole for a while. You know what I mean? Like, and that's, you know, Ohio don't really do a lot of extra time. Um, now, if it's a stabbing or something like that, depending on how bad it is, they will. But um, that's you know, exactly how Florida is. It's almost you won't get any extra time cracking somebody with a lock. And you can yeah. you could you could stab somebody as long as no one's willing to point you out or say anything. You'll completely get away with it without any additional time. You can yes. you, even if, if somebody don't, even if somebody points you out. And you didn't like hit a main artery or something, you'll just do bo you'll do a lot of box time, but no additional charge. You have yeah. to physically like really put that person's life in like a they have you know if, if they're really messed up to where it's going to be have to pair them or they, there's a big bill behind it. That's that's the way Ohio is. Unless you make them have a big bill, they ain't, they ain't sweating it. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, people don't realize, man. I'm not gonna suck, man. That stuff like that. I was more worried about that it, when I was locked up than I'd say getting stabbed. I really was because, like, I don't know that. That to me, like, I don't care who you are. If you take that to the face or the dome, um, you, that's, it's just, yeah, it's gonna mess you up, man. That's because you've seen it done, bro. It's just as I have. I mean, um, bef I don't know how it is in Ohio for you before. I'm sure you've seen it get done and really mess somebody up. And then I'm also sure that you've seen somebody try to use it and completely miss, <laughs> right? So I you probably I saw it. the person miss and that happened more than the dude connect and it messed somebody up. That's how it went for me. And then then I was yeah. scared of lock and saw, but, but I, yeah. I saw so many people fumble it or make a big, a big like sleeve, like big sock where they have to like, they, they're, they're just, and it gets wrapped around the guy's arm and they start twerking. <laughs> I've seen a dude swing at swing one at, at somebody and miss, and he clocked himself on the on the uh it's like a boomerang thing. Bam, oh, you know. Uh, oh. he, it's all you make it, but yeah, I yeah, wanted to tell too long. You you only want it like a foot and in a state belt was what I seen a lot of you know, they people use them and, and have success with but man, um yeah, yeah like I said. I, I seen guys get hit. The, the first time I seen it was a guy got hit, and uh, I don't know if he was, you know, what he was doing to this guy, but the guy caught him in, in sleeping, you know, in the middle of the night. And uh, yeah, oh, it was terrible, you know, just to see see the damage that it caused. And, you're sleeping, uh, you don't know what's coming. What time? It, by the time you get hit, uh, you know, man, that's a, that's a crappy situation. You got to wake yeah, up to like. Yeah. That's all bad. And that, that I never, I, I, you know, I, I trying to sleep after that, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause you know, you never know who you, who you can make mad in there because everybody, you right. know, pride thing, everything's pride. Um, I've seen people get salty over stupid things like, you know, like somebody, you know, somebody sitting on somebody else's bunk, you know, you're right. Like, I, like a little to one person or it, you know to another could be you know and bro like I I'll, I'll say this to your point man uh there's been times where 
I, I have got into it with people, not fighting or anything, but arguments, right? And then, you know, you you communicate with the person to the to diffuse it. So like to straighten the, the, the issue, but walking away from it, it's you don't really know where their mind's at. And then going to sleep, like you said, it, it could be a trap. You know, yeah. so it, it is Especially a in the dorm system. You see, and that's where people don't realize, like, unless you've been in a dorm, you don't understand like what you gotta deal with, you know, when you you know, because like I said, you have to if you be with somebody in your dorm. Any type of drama, you know what I mean? You got to sleep around that person. And, and it's a whole other, you know, to live it is a whole other thing than, the, than just to hear it, I guess. That's why I try to stress that to people, you know. Do you guys have um, open bays, like in Florida, like 90%? Yeah, of like the trash gates at nighttime. They'll have, like, they'll have a big open bay with, like, you know, a couple rows, a wall, like a, a divider wall that's about six feet high to divide some of the bunks. And then... They'll have like a crash gate they lock at nighttime or whatever. You know what I mean? At lockdown time. So it's it's all open bays there in Ohio? Um, most, like all the level twos and stuff like that, yeah. Like, I mean, Chili Coffee, one of the ones I was at, it was a huge, it was a huge camp. It was like 2,500 to 3,000 people on it. And uh, yeah, it's about the size of my camp. Yeah, and, and it's, I mean, there were big open bays. There was roads through the camp. Um it's it a big place, you know. People don't realize, like, the size. Of, even, like, Lebanon is one of the level threes here in Ohio, that's, uh, which is the high. And for Ohio, I think, I don't – there's really no level. There, There's, like, a super max level, which is basically, like, 20, you know, 23 and 1. But other than yeah. that, it's level three, you know. It's the highest we go. We, it's kind of similar here. We have um, – I mean – Confi of course, confinement is closed, but um, we have like closed custody. It's like a T building. Um, people with like elbows and life are in there, but you'll have people with 15, 20 years in an open bay dorm next to somebody with two or three years. It's wild how they do it. You know, that's, that's what I'm saying. And, and so you got some young kid who has to be around these seasoned people. You know what I mean? Like, um, that's, that's what's crazy. I feel like they set people up for failure. That's one reason I, I think. I don't know, prison reform has to happen in some some way, shape, or form just because they're breeding more, they're breeding monsters, you know what I mean? Like, by no, some absolutely. people that have huge amounts of gangs, um, and um, you're just setting these young guys up for failure, you know, for life, um, which is exactly what it is. Yeah, man, so you got a recovery channel on, on YouTube. Uh, some people yeah. may may remember it i want to i want to promote the recovery channel um with the recovery so two things here with the recovery channels on youtube um at least with with th there is a, a little sector on youtube for recovery channels which is cool um but a lot of people um you know there, there's a couple of chicks that have pretty decent followings on the recovery channels but they they involve the prison genre dudes in, in a wild way. Um, I, I'm not going to say any names, but um, which it, it's almost like they are a lot, on a lot of drama. But uh, I, I, I went on, did an interview with you. Um, I remember earlier you had a thing with, with Savage. Um, you know, um, if you want to speak on that, you know, if not, and not to, let me say this, not to confuse, we spoke about this in our interview on your channel. Yeah. Uh, your channel is good, man. You, 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 you shoot for the recovery in that, in that, you know, um, whatever yeah, happened, yeah. With, whatever happened, yeah, with, um, go ahead. Whatever happened with Savage happened, happened, but it's, it's not like you have a drama channel. That, that, yeah, and, I try not to do the drama thing, but I, I'll be honest, like, Let's be honest, like with YouTube, you almost have to get any message out. I don't know. Like, <laughs> you're right. I'll put some videos making jokes on some people um, somewhat just because I try to promote the message of recovery, but at the same time, like, um, sometimes you gotta, you gotta, you, gotta you, you do have to use drama to, to, to get a message. And, and sometimes, look, man, let's be honest, like, sometimes people need. Uh, honesty spoken to them, you know what I mean? Uh, if, if they're not, you know, if they're just living foolishly. Um, so 
Yeah, the whole savage thing, man. Um, I would have liked to actually do it. Now, the original agreement was like we were talking about street beefs, of course, that's what everybody goes to. Um, my my whole thing with it with any of it, um, uh, any of that is I, I think um the whole prison genre, like instead of having any type of drama, I think like to to start something like street beefs or or to do something like that just to handle issues instead of yeah. telling people. You know what I mean? Or the back and forth would be the way to handle it. And, and I've said this in videos. You can go back two years. You know, um, I've, I've said I would love to, to see like a tournament or something just because I think we should all be able to go out and be good sports. You know what I mean? Win or lose. Like, yeah. I know I'll take – I might take an L to a, a few times. But it, but it's like – It's know, just wreck, shows. right? It's just wreck. Yeah, it's, wreck. It, it's like – Really, if, if especially if anybody can get paid to do it, you know what I mean? If you can make a little money from it, maybe have a little money kick back to guys just coming out after serving a decade to help some guys. Um, I think it, it, if it was done right um, it, and everybody would get involved, it could be something really cool to help a lot of guys coming home. And it could help everyone get paid. You know what I mean? Make a little bread, you know? Uh, let's be honest. Like, I mean, I, I, I just think – you see what Jay Paul's doing and, and all these guys. Um, I think people would like to see it. You know what I mean? And, it, and like you said, it's it's just wreck, man. Like, um, it's a sport. You know, MMA is a sport. Boxing is a sport. Like, uh, yeah. the whole trolling over it and back and forth. Like, I had a little bit of back and forth with uh, DYI Dean. And uh, he actually made, like, his last video was like an apology video to a lot of people, um, which I respect. And I guess he's trying to change his life, which is awesome. Um but like we had some back and forth and we were going to go on street beefs and uh, then he had ended up just shutting this thing down and, and doing the apology thing. But, uh, you know, there was never no hatred there. It was just like, you know, why, if you got a disagreement or if you guys are going to, instead of going back and forth, be like men, handle it. You know what I mean? Shake hands when you're done and, and walk away. Like we show people, I don't know, you could be good sports about it. I don't know. That's, that's what I've always tried to, to, to say behind it all, you know? Um, was Savage was cool? When, 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 I, when I know, if I remember this right, I believe it was you and Indy Animal, and uh, you guys were going back and forth with, with Savage. Was he cool? Like, did he, let me ask you this. Uh, would he at least agree? Say, hey, yeah. Was he respectable about it? Like, what you're saying? He'd say if I came to Cali, he would do it, and he wanted to do it on Mighty Mouse's channel. Um, so he kind of switched a few things up, but he did say he would do it. So I'm not going to say, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, we all seen the little boardwalk scene of him fighting there. So I believe he would probably fight um, in a ring. I'm sure he would. Uh, but I don't know. I guess he said he couldn't leave state because he had got – I don't know if you've seen the Walmart deal or whatever. I, of course I heard about it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So um, let me grab my water real quick. Yeah, so he, uh, I guess, couldn't leave the state because of, because of the Walmart deal. Um, yeah, he, he was probably on house really not funny. If, if, if them accusations are true, uh, yeah, he, he really shouldn't be able to leave the state. Probably, you know, leave his house, really, if, if that was all true. Uh, let's be honest, you know what I mean? That's, yeah, that's probably why he wanted to do it on Mighty Mouse's channel. And I know that's why you pull it away. But the reason I ask is, like, at, at least he was uh, respectable about it. Like, I understand you would not want to go on Mighty Mouse channel. I get that. And everybody knows the reason for that. So people understand, at least now, clear, cleared up why you didn't do it. But I'm, you're right on everything you said. There's money in that. And it should just be wreck. But the the dealings that I've had on it and... You know, Viking's a good friend of mine. These dudes will, they'll call cops on you and uh, and uh, they'll, they'll try to call your job and all this nonsense rather than just agree to do it, which it seems like almost Savage did with you, and make money behind it. Uh, there's, you're right. Somebody trolls this, the whole situation if two YouTubers fight or or... You you can't make any money calling my boss and saying how you feel or trolling me behind it. There's yeah. no money. There's no money to be made there. It that is that is stupid and petty. But 
that's really how it goes. But you're, you're right. It should be. There's money behind it. it. It seems like the dude was straight up with you and didn't do any of that crazy stuff. I understand yeah, why he pulled away. I, I would have done the same thing. I wouldn't go on my house, but I understand that. You know? Yeah. Yeah, and, and, you know, that's like I've t talked to you, you know, I mentioned you and, uh, you know, talked to you about maybe you and Viking, but um, I, I just don't understand why more people wouldn't be behind that, because, I, I mean, to me, like, if, if I don't know, even if I got knocked out, like, if I made a thousand bucks to to get knocked, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's still a thousand bucks. It's it's all, you know, to help promote a good cause. Like, it, I think it could be done right and, and be profitable, but... Uh, I don't know why more people don't think like that, you know? You're right. It, 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 people should. Um, but we'll see what happens, man. Maybe somebody will share this too. We'll see. too. I mean, like the whole troll thing and like all that, it's a different era. Like coming into – hang on one second. Um, it, in just a minute. Hey, uh, brother. All right, man, well, we'll see. Somebody may share it to them, and we'll see what happens. But you're right. There should be more business aspect of it. Man, I yeah, and like I said, I think a tournament thing would be cool, um, you know, if enough people would get involved, you know. Uh, and, and some money could go to helping people come home, you know. That's true. Uh, so, so yeah. All right, man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put your link in the description and pin the comments So send it to me. Y'all check his channel out, man. It's Ryan Two Shine recovery um show him some love it's ohio and uh until the next one man salute to you bro hey thank you, up, man. Thank you bro. you're welcome brother all right hey appreciate your time bro yeah man all right i gotta check on what this girl's got going on now <laughs> yeah i'll hit you up all right hit me up man